So speaking of what's already in world culture, I would like to read a verse from the 21st chapter of Re Revelation from John. A little noted verse. I don't remember having read it before. When you look at the plain meaning of it, it is rather remarkable. And it's speaking of exactly the things we're speaking about here this morning. So this is after he's speaking about the holy city and he's waxing eloquent about it. He's, I, John, I saw it. And he's talking about, you know, it, it had um, 12 gates to the city and there's four gates to these and four gates, or no, three gates to these, three gates to the west, three gates to the north and three gates to the south. And it was made out of gold and it had these dimensions and he's describing the whole thing. And people have wondered about the numbers and the numbers are kind of interesting. There's a lot of 12s in there, 12 gates. There's a fours, there's fours and threes. Of course, there's furlongs and cubits, measurements we're not so familiar with. And 12, of course, is this meaningful number. There were 12 disciples, 12 tribes of Israel. If you study astrology, right, there's 12 astrological signs. There's 12 months in a year. So the numbers are interesting. But without diving into what the numbers themselves might mean, can we just agree that he was saying there's a design, there's a pattern to the city. It's, it's made a certain way. It's set out a certain way. There's an already existing reality that has a pattern to it that's relevant to you and me that tells us about the city we're living in. It tells us about ourselves. That, it seems to me, is the most significant thing he's saying. So I'm going to read this verse. As usual, we've got to not be baffled by the English language of the time that it was written or translated. He says this, and he measured the wall thereof. He's talking about the wall. He measured the wall thereof and 144 and cubits. 140 and four cubits. Well, that's 144, which is 12 times 12. But I don't want to get obsessed with those numbers. But then comes this. According to the measure of a man, that is, of the angel. So what does that mean? According to the measure of a man, that is, of the angel. He's equating three things here. And saying the measure of them all is the same. The design, the pattern of them all is the same. The pattern of the city is the pattern of a man. And the pattern of a man is the pattern of the angel. The indwelling being of a man or a woman. The pattern of you, the pattern of me is of the angel. And it's the same pattern of the city. So the pattern that is the pattern for how we all relate together, that is the city. That is the beloved community. The pattern of that is the same as the pattern of the angel, which is the pattern of me. Meaning I have the measure of the city in me, which is the measure of the angel. It's all the same. It's all the same pattern. How I'm made is how you're made, and how we're made together is how you are made and how I am made. And it is all held in the angel, in this invisible pattern of being before it was ever made manifest. The implication of that is that pattern, that design, that reality of you, you cannot touch or change or corrupt. It's invisible. 
unless you've learned how to climb up there into heaven and mess with it, but you can't. It's perfect. It is you, the beauty of you. But here's what you can do. You can allow it to come down into you. You can allow the wisdom of it to fill you, to tell you who you are and what your life is meant to be. And at the same time, it's telling you how to relate to the, next per the person next to you, is giving you the pattern for that. The question is, are we paying attention? Or are we obsessed with the human ego state, the state of separation? With what we want from another person, what we demand, with what we're disappointed at, what we're fearful about. So I say, let us look up like John. Let us see the holy city. Let us feel and know the angel who is constantly telling us who we are, the angel of us, the angel which is the inner reality of our being. <clears throat> 